Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Tom Boone here, Associate Director for Mission uh, with the Outreach Foundation. And we're coming to you uh, from uh, Krakow, Krakow uh, Poland. Um, and I'm delighted that, uh, to be here with uh, trustee uh, and pastor Bob Fuller and Morgan Fuller. Um, this is not your first time to Poland, but yeah. I think it's your first time here, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And, and we are here for a marriage retreat, but we've also um, been spending a lot of time with our hosts. And, and you all just know them, so I'd love to tell us a little bit about our hosts and, and what, what's energizing you from this visit. So this is my fifth time here in fifth Poland, wow. and it's just great to be here with uh, with old friends. This is my, I, I guess I've been to Warsaw several times. This is my first time in Krakow, and we're meeting with our good friends Piotr and Stasia Novak, and also with Aneta and Pablo Montano. Uh, Montano. Yeah. And it's just great to be here with them because, number one, They've just become good friends. It's one of those things where uh, mission, when it's done right, and I guess when we when we really leaning into the Holy Spirit, it really becomes more about relationships than projects and things like that. And so what we're what we're finding is that while we're here, this relationship just keeps building, just keeps building, keeps building, and the friendship that started several years ago has evolved into a lot of different um, a lot of different expressions of ministry and it's fun because it's it's a it's a ministry and it's also a relationship that we've been able to pursue together as a family this is morgan's third trip to to poland and so say something about that so my first was um with the church and we came to warsaw and visited with um aneta and piotr and my second was with our son um, we came and visited because we had connections here, and we had the opportunity to visit for his senior trip. And so we came and visited Warsaw and were warmly welcomed and got to see a different side of the city and a different side of um, our friends. And so it was really nice. Yeah. I think one of the, the great things about this is that uh, in our relationship as a congregation, First Presbyterian Church of San Antonio, we've actually been sort of an evolving relationship. But what's really Awesome is that it's it's really moving toward a very kingdom minded approach mm-hmm. to a, approach to uh, to connection and also I think the training of pastors and the support of pastors. Um, what these guys are doing is they are building a network that will not only prepare people for things like church planting and church leadership, but they're also building a network that's that's undergirded by not only counseling training but pastoral support and 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 pastoral counseling one of the things that we've that we've really seen over the past few years here is that the pastors here the churches here have been stressed and pushed beyond yeah. all kinds of regular limits all of us in the states all over the world we went through that covid period um we all know how stressful that was on top of that the pastors in Poland have been dealing with a very intense refugee situation. They've been dealing with all the, uh, the, the shocks, the radiating uh, echoes of the problems of the war in Ukraine. And that has put a lot of stress on them as pastors. So, so there are two, two levels of things going on. They, they are an expanding movement. They need more pastors. They need more, more well-trained um, uh, evangelical pastors here. But they also need support for for the men and women who are leading these churches because they've been stretched, they've been pushed, they've been challenged in ways that a lot of people haven't. And for us in the States, COVID is, for all intents and purposes, over. For these guys, they just went from one stressful situation to another, and yet they continue to grow. They continue to flourish. They continue to pursue this vision of of growing the kingdom, and not. And when I say growing the kingdom, I mean that they are looking at ways that they can that they can serve uh, ecumenically. They're looking at ways they can serve across cultural lines. They're looking at ways that they can that they can truly build the kingdom in a way that is very open-handed, but very much Christ and Trinity centered. And so it's really just a joy to see, especially how, how creative they have become 
in building uh, building some important models for for pastoral education and pastoral support. Mm. One of the things that this is kind of a question from left field. Um, so we're here, as I said, with a marriage retreat uh, provided through Novus Foundation. Uh, TOF uh, and Noah's Foundation are partnering with this, mm-hmm. and it's been great so far. Um, Morgan, as you listened to the couples talk about the, each other, um, what were just a couple of takeaways that you got maybe from Piotr and Stasia or Aneta and Pablo that, that, that just gave you, a li- gave you some hope or what energized you about what you heard from them? I think from particularly the couples that I know best, learning um, about their histories together and learning about what uh, their connections are together, there is such a deep and abiding love for one another, but love for the Lord. And that's what drives most of what they do. I mean, they really are dedicated um, to their mission in this church. And so, and, and just knowing about their backgrounds, knowing that many grew up in communism, knowing that many grew up Catholic, and seeing their ecumenical um, turnaround now and seeing their ecumenical focus and just seeing that again it's truly kingdom Mm -hmm. driven it's truly kingdom driven yeah thanks for bringing that out Mm -hmm. that's that's cool I didn't want to interrupt Mm -hmm. you okay yeah I think that's really what it's about and and again thank you all for facilitating this this uh, you know this partnership because really we are here at your request um, a couple of years ago, and and it's wonderful to see how it's turning out. Yeah. yeah. Well, Anything I was going to say, you know, one of the beautiful things about this is it goes back to Romans 1. It's not that we're just here to encourage them. They encourage us. Yeah. And, and there have been several times, even in our first couple of sessions here, where I've thought, oh, well, we were coming to do a marriage a marriage retreat for them. But then I'm sitting here thinking about the great content we're getting from our other team partners and their stories and their wisdom. I'm thinking, oh, maybe this was an intervention for us. <laughs> this is We're actually gaining more uh, yeah. and, and enjoying That's this good, more. Good but but the, the critical piece is we, we continue to build that relationship because of our love for Jesus Christ, because of the work of the Holy Spirit, and because of God's kingdom mission that we're, we're all pursuing. Well, thanks for sharing uh, real quickly about what, what you're, what's energizing you. And thank you all for listening. And uh, thank you for your prayers. And God bless uh, you. And we'll come back to you uh, tomorrow.